so they're defending against a rebellion for the Vale, and also there's a war for someone's claim on the Black Mountains. Interesting. Everyone seems pretty loyal to me, 146% of my troops, uh, well, they have the 146% of the strength that I have. Um, crown loyalists to the actual crown, it, that's a tiny faction. Nobody cares about him. Now I notice a lot of these territories seem to have diseases. Is that going to affect these troops? Doesn't seem to. They don't seem to be bothered one way or another. I'm assuming that's what that sort of brownish cloud means, disease. There we go. Arrived just in time to, to give the Westerlanders a helping hand. Sixty-five percent war score already. Yeah, I think I think uh, Lady Muriel is probably going to be safe, and the, the Lord of the Crossing has also agreed to help. I noticed that King Renly is also a dragon slayer. I'm starting to think that there was an abundance of dragons while I was gone, and it's just yeah, it, it got out of hand. But then everybody became a dragon slayer, so it's now nothing to shout about. Yeah, that might be a little, a little hitch, but we should be able to, you know, carry on regardless. Okay, so our Septon has died of the bloody flux now. Is it slightly egotistical to appoint another guy called Oris? Uh, probably not. He seems to be the best for the job. Yeah, I think, I think Muriel's got this from here. Probably didn't need to even get involved, but we did, we helped, and uh, yeah, I'll improve relations a little. Oh, uh, seems to be some kind of war in the Riverlands as well. Oh, they're trying to... So there seems to be two different factions trying to claim the Riverlands. Um, uh, there's not many northern troops in there. There's, hmm, it's interesting. I'm pretty sure that army of the crossing is just. Oh no! Oh, defending, defending against the rebellions. So they're, yeah, they're not trying to overthrow uh, the north. Westerlands have a lot of troops. So much so that they feel they can pretty much just throw them away assaulting territories. Although they are at 98% war score now, so maybe they can do whatever the hell they want. There we go. Muriel has won her war again, so she's, you know, hanging in there pretty easily. Her heir is still Alice Frey, so if she dies then pretty much everything goes to shit, but... People probably have a favourable opinion of her right now. Or are in her prison. One of the two. So we need a new Castellan. And it looks as though it's going to have to be Rickard because... Even though... Um, the Lord of Summerhall does have a very high stewardship skill and it would be quite beneficial, but... He also doesn't like me especially much. Why doesn't Gowan like me much? Why doesn't Raymond like me much? So I've gone with uh, Rickard. I, I just wanted to play it safe, you know. It's uh, without any heirs besides, you know, siblings. It's not a good idea to be tempting fate with uh, someone as important as a Castellan with a with a poor opinion of you, or even a middling opinion of you, because that's not particularly safe. Because that just means that a decent bribe will see them joining an assassination plot against you. That is quite the uh, quite the force that the Akon Hall faction seems to have. They might just uh, have a say in what happens in the Riverlands. You know, the North might not steamroll this like they uh, usually would. Although they do still have the allegiance of most of that area. But it'll be interesting to see. And oh, there's a revolt against uh, against Muriel's rule. Uh, I think she's probably got this one covered, though. 
Ooh, there's a new Lord of the North. Um, weirdly, not that guy's dad, even though... Why, he's still alive. I don't get it. He's apparently a salt wife as well. Um, yeah, I'm starting to think that these these are slightly arbitrary titles that have been handed out. Um, given that he's also a dragon slayer. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how the succession worked there, but his son inherited before he did, which is impressive. Um, so there's a new Lord of the North. Uh, Jorah has finally done us the favour of dying. Oh, the Grand Tournament of Lord Osric I has been cancelled due to war. Yeah, that whole civil war that he's been left with. Is he now fighting a rebellion? Oh. Oh, he's... He's protecting someone in the Iron Islands. That's weird. Are there not still rebellions going on in the Riverlands? No. No, there are not. Why are they Why are they not fighting to claim... Oh, probably because... Uh, Jorah died, and so all of the wars ended somehow. They became irrelevant, because they declared it against against Jorah rather than uh, you know I can't even remember what the name of the guy is in charge of the north now I'm sure I will get acquainted though I have one or two territories that I uh, mean to question him about oh it's kicking off in the reach now as well oh so she's attacking Osric Osric is the new leader in the north, and Acorn Hall are now fighting him instead, so it didn't take them long to get back at it. So there's now a new rebellion trying to, uh, yeah, overthrow the north's influence in the Riverlands, and, uh, and the Reacher game behind it now as well. Well, there you go, this has some traction now. Oh, damn. <coughs> William Flint wants to join the Night's Watch, which is a... Oh, wow, he's a... Oh, okay. I was going to say he's kind of my candidate to lead the Riverlands, but he seems to have been assigned the imbecile trait, which has left him pretty incapable in most aspects. And I'm pretty sure... Uh, he's probably already been in charge of the Riverlands, I don't know. I, I don't recall. So I suppose we should let him go. Ah, shit. Cousin Stannis has the bloody flux. That's not good news. In fact, that's terrible news because he is exactly where we are. So if we just send him off to, say, <laughs> Ronda Dondarrion. <laughs> yeah, why not? There we go. And that way, you know, we don't have to deal with his gross germs or anything. Which is, yeah, perfect. Arguably, that will spread the disease to Tarth, but we'll worry about that when it com when it uh, when it comes to it. You're fed up with always losing games. Ooh, Horus has come of age. You're faster and cleverer than now. When you find a way to win, they make up a new rule against it. And when you play on teams, your team always drags you down. Um. Okay. Well, I don't seem to have any option of whatever. Ruthless is our trait that we've gained, which isn't actually that great because it gives us general opinion of minus ten. Well, Oris has come of age. Um, now we just need to wait for Muriel to do so as well, and then we can have the wedding, uh, which would be great. Um, because that'll, you know, any progeny will give us the Westerlands. Oh. oh, I've been shown the magic of numbers. I kind of wanted a martial skill, but we roll the dice, and or we'll die, and we see what kind of stewardship bonus we get. Oh. Uh, skilled steward. That's actually really good. Look at that. Really good stewardship skill. I guess I can live with that. And we don't... Oh, we still have a regent. Um, maybe... Maybe soon we won't. I should think very soon we won't have a regent. Or any need of one. And soon we'll be able to have ambitions of our own. Ah. Ah. Um, just realised that that Acorn Hall war is for a very particular claim, and that claim is of Lady Lasana Meadows of the Reach. Uh, yeah, now I understand why the Reach is so interested in uh, in backing that. Oh, the King has the Great Plague. That should uh, that'll probably kill him. He's quite, you know, old. Um, 
but yeah, that's uh, that's wow, well, that's a really limited option of plots. Oh my goodness, what's all these? This is slightly different, I think. Hmm, a lot of plots there as well. Sixty-eight known plots. But I guess it must have the status of the people in the plot, and all of them have joined, they're not in the process of joining or anything like that. I don't know. Investigate my legitimacy, eh? I can't even remember which one is trying to investigate my legitimacy. But there we go. Oh my goodness, I haven't looked at the Faith tab in a very long time. Oh cool, that's a nice option. It may have existed before, but auto-stop plots, brilliant. So all the plots that can be stopped will be stopped. Awesome, that's, that's really gonna streamline my administrative duties there. I wonder if I'm going to get like 5,000 crows saying we're sorry, we'll stop our plot. 